Hello, my name is Haisam Amin. I go by Sam. I'm the founding attorney here at Amin Law in San Francisco, California. Today we will be discussing Penal Code Section 30605, commonly known as possessing an assault rifle, which is illegal here in the state of California. I'll also be discussing what the DA's office will have to prove in order to secure a conviction as well as the defenses you and your attorney can argue or make in order to prove your innocence. I'll also discuss the possible immigration consequences, as well as the gun rights that may be affected as a result of a conviction. Two elements the district attorney's office will have to prove in order to secure a conviction. Number one, they have to prove that you possessed an assault weapon. What is an assault weapon, you ask? Well, California Penal Code Section 30515 enumerates a list of weapons that are illegal to possess here in the state of California. Just to give you an idea, things that are illegal are semi-automatic pistols, rocket launchers, shotguns with revolving cylinders, and the list goes on. The second element the DA's office will have to prove is possession. Possession can be actual or constructive. Actual possession is having the assault weapon on your person or inside of your backpack. Constructive possession means that you have access or control over the assault weapon, for example, inside of your vehicle or inside of your house. Now to the best part, defenses. What are my defenses in order to prove my innocence? Well, three main arguments and or defenses you and your attorney can make in order to prove your innocence. Number one, no actual or constructive possession. For example, the weapons are tucked away at a friend's house. Number two, you could be in an exempt status. What does that mean? Well, if you're an executor or an administrator of an estate that lawfully possesses the assault weapons, you cannot be prosecuted under California Penal Code 30605. Also, if you have a permit or a license to possess assault weapons, you cannot be prosecuted. Number three, unreasonable search and seizure pursuant to the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution. What does that mean? Well, if you were searched illegally by a police officer and a police officer finds assault weapons as a result of the illegal search, your case can be potentially dropped and or dismissed. Now the penalties. What are the punishments and or penalties if you're convicted or found guilty of California Penal Code Section 30605? If it's a misdemeanor, you're looking at up to one year county jail and or a fine of up to $1,000. If it's the felony, well, you're looking at a low term of 16 months, midterm of two years, a high term of three years in county jail. Immigration consequences. If you're not a United States citizen, a conviction pursuant to California Penal Code Section 30605 can pose a substantial risk to your status here in the country. It's important to note that immigration laws are forever changing and or evolving and if the USCIS considers your conviction a crime of moral turpitude your status in the country could be in substantial risk. Now gun rights if you are found guilty especially if it's a felony conviction you could run into serious issues with respect to being barred from owning or possessing a firearm legally in the state of California. Thank you for watching this video I have a team of professionals who are ready to help all you have to do is pick up the phone and give us a call if you found this video educational, I'd greatly appreciate it if you can share it. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.